practicing. You'll get the hang of it. Just to be with Pop the Trunk Toys, and today we are featuring MP51 RC. Now, this is the official Takara Tomy release in Japan. And as usual, you get the typical masterpiece box here with the images in the front saying Transformers Masterpiece Takara Tomy on top, MP51. Cybertron Warrior RC on the top looks like typical masterpiece bottom bunch of stuff don't know right here you got RC posing for you over here on this side you got the car vehicle mode and on the back typical masterpiece fashion all the goods demonstrations and whatnot how she's sizing up with the rest of the folks all right, let's get this open. Bust out the handy dandy. All right, let's see what's inside. Seeing this for the first time, folks, just like you. Okay, now she's in a clamshell. She comes with uh, blast effects, some weaponry, Nice long rifle. She got some handguns. Vehicle mode looks nice from in there. And different face sculpts. Then comes with their nice instructions. Nice little text back right here, bio card. Alright, let me get her out of the clamshell. Be right back. Alrighty folks, and we have RC here. Seated and booted in her vehicle mode, and I'm kind of speechless. Tell you honestly, um, it's a masterpiece figure, you know, and you kind of, kind of scratch my head on this one. I'm not too sure. I'll maybe give it an afterthought after uh, I do the, the the bot mode here. But let's do the accessories really fast. She comes with this assault rifle, which is pretty cool. It has a blast effect on here, which is this one right here, which you could put plug in. It looks like she's unloading the clip. That's very cool. Nice, nice touch there. Uh, I do like the blast effects. She has that thing that comes out of her car when she when getting chased by the junkions and trips them up. The wheel slasher or whatever it is. <laughs> She has another blast effect for the pistols. Pretty cool. And another one. She does have an assortment of pistol here. She has this pink pistol that has a sheath as well. Or a holster, should I say? It just plugs right in. And then she has her, I believe, I want to say from the movie pistol. Pretty cool. Nice and detailed pretty cool nice sculpt all right she comes with these three different faces this one right here you got that eyeliner going on there's another one the mouth kind of slightly open then you got another one her mouth is open. Okay, that's it for the accessories. All right, now on the vehicle boat. I think the vehicle looks fantastic, I really do. Um, I always wanted an RC that looked really good in vehicle mode, but then I look at these tires. I think the, the, the under always kind of looks like this with most RC's but 
how cheap have they gone on the tires Jesus what's going on here Takara you know, you're paying, we're paying good money here wow but as you see the car mode looks fantastic it really does it looks good they really nailed that sculpt they, they know how to do it it looks good really really good but Jesus as a quick size comparison the bombshell nicey that's what the vehicles look like compared to each other not too bad okay and here she is next to te mirage so you see how she looks next to an mp car Maybe not a good size, but <laughs> or the best choice, but nevertheless. All right. Now you can plug the weapons onto her. Plug it into the side. She could be an assault car. This one also goes on, or should I? This one can go on either side. And this one only has a one-sided pick. So, if you like the assault car, that's the way it looks. And then this just plugs in on the bottom here. You got a little tab, tab for tab. Just plug it right in. And then she's chipping up some junky arms, just like that. Pretty cool, not too bad. <clears throat> Alright, let's get it transformed. Be right back. Alrighty folks, and you see here RC is suited and booted, ready to rock and roll, kicking butt, taking names. Like I say, those blast effects look pretty cool on her. Um, the weapon is pretty sick, the, the assault rifle. Um, as you see, she's she's pretty flexible and whatnot. You could get her in some pretty good poses. It's just uh, the transformation was, yeah, it's fair. It's not, it's not too bad. Um, let me see. As you see, this is her, uh, her goggles. You know, to to see like on that movie. Let me take this weapon out of the way. But she just poses um, the weapon, just clicks in with the with the peg, masterpiece style. The hands are a, a bit wonky, clawy like. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Weird to explain. But yeah, as, it, as you see, her, she does ha have her goggle gimmick, which just kind of folds up into the head. You just place it down and covers. And the, the faces can also uh, be taken out from there as well. All right. Let's strain her out a bit. You do have to be careful when you're maneuvering her to straighten her out because the the hinges in here and the legs are kind of kind of funny. But she does does look pretty good, I want to say. Just that, just this section kind of looks off a little bit. The backpack, of course, there's gonna always be a backpack. I I, uh, I forgive transformers for that. Let's go for articulation. Okay, so her head is like on a like on a ball. She can look fair amount up. She can look fair amount down. She does have a neck piece that kind of moves too as well. Uh, with her head is sep being separate, whatnot. Uh, she can give you the the so so look. So so. <laughs> Arms can rotate all the way around. It does get kind of caught up with all the, the backpack and whatnot. She does have a butterfly here. I mean, it gives you great range over the, the chest and whatnot, but if you need more, you can, you know, kind of cheat that out and get a butterfly. She has a bicep swivel. Her elbow is double hinged. She can get you some really good range bending upwards. Down to the hand, you have a swivel. You can bend, bend right here at the wrist. The fingers are P 
pinned right here all together. Then they, these three are separately and the pointer finger is out there so they, you could bend or you could point. And then this one bends as well. The thumb bends downwards and go back up. For her waist swivel, she has like an ab crunch in there. Her thighs can give you a great range up. <clears throat> um, seems a little bit back. She does have a, a thigh swivel here. She can double hinge knee and this protects it right there. The foot can move up and down with the toe tilt and a rocker. So she's she's pretty agile, pretty pretty good. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's get you some size comparisons, be right back. Alrighty folks, now it is size comparison time. We have first runner up. We have the youngest RC out there. We have Nicey. And that's how she compares to MP51 here. Okay. And now we have Fan Toys Rouge here. And that's my size comparisons. Kind of looks like an evolution thing. So let's take her. I move it right here. And there you go. Got the evolution of RC right here. You got the shell years. You got her, you know, work life, work life balance kind of thing. And then you got Mama RC right here, you know, as she's retired out of the Autobots, got some couple kids and whatnot. And that's it. <laughs> All right. That's it for my size comparisons, ladies. All right. I just want to say this is actually not a bad character. I mean, there's just, you know, some things are just slightly cheap about it. Like I didn't like the wheels on her off first, right off the bat, kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I was like, holy moly, this is not cool. But I mean, she does a job. She's, she's physically able to be uh, posable and whatnot. She's colored, you know, painted really well. Articulation is there. Alrighty, everyone. This will start to conclude my video here for MP51 RC. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you guys got, got some answers figured out or seen what you wanted to see. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. It helps me out a lot. Hit the like button. And I'll see you later. Till next time. Have a good one, folks.